Welcome to Coping Mechanics. I am Ryan. This is the show where we talk about anxiety and video games and their relation to us in our day-to-day lives. Please follow us on Twitter at Coping Mech Games, and please subscribe on YouTube. This is episode two of Outward. I've been thinking a lot about imposter syndrome and its relation to RPGs. Uh, I've been having a tough few weeks just in terms of professionally and personally trying to figure out what steps I should take in my life. You know, this, the things that everybody kind of thinks about if they're lucky enough to do so. And and, uh, you know, imposter syndrome is a thing that I, I've spoken to a lot of people in my life about, that we all kind of feel like we've fooled our way into, you know, anything, you know, any any level of success that we may have, whether it's personally or professionally, that we're just kind of fooling anybody. And again, we're lucky to be where, where we are at any given moment if things are going well, you know, and, and that that's a different scale for everybody. But I was thinking about how these games where we create our own characters, like this one or the Bioware games, the Bethesda games, anything like that, where we create our own characters and and kind of uh, decide how the world perceives them is a really comforting notion. You know, it, it's, it, it is truly us creating a character to move through a world that we did not create, but the character we created, and we get to, in one way or another, um, control how they are perceived. But by their actions, uh, by their skills, uh, by the way they react to things in these games that are really open world, how we do, it, it, it would it would be a dream in real life. Ooh, we've got to fight that guy. Uh, if we could control how the world perceived us, you know, we do our best in terms of how we treat people and how we handle certain situations, uh, and games like this kind of give us an opportunity. Um, oh, my bag's overweight. <laughs> even, even when I'm creating the character, the bag's still overweight. But it gives us this opportunity to um, either create a character that we wish we could be like, or, or just even if it's even if it's a character that's um, that's dark and we don't want to be like them. You know, like in the Kotor games where you could go the dark side route, but it's just kind of a catharsis for us to behave a way we wouldn't normally behave. But we have complete control over that within the confines of the world that's been created for us to play in. I think that it's not a small thing, you know, in terms of uh, what games might mean to us and uh, what purpose they may serve to us. You know, it, it's fun. It's it's a, it, it's a form of uh, make-believe that we're in the real world or often not lucky enough to have. Um, and I, I think that that's a really useful thing to have, and I'm glad to have it. So I'm going to go and offload some of this stuff. Um, you know, I hope that the I hope the world receives Ashen well. Um, I hope to do some good things in here. I hope to pay off my debt, which is, you know, I mean, you can perceive whether it's been fairly or unfairly put on me. Um, I think it's really telling that this uh, game and this company, uh, which made it, which I'm, I heard, I was reading about it, I heard that this game was made by like 10 people, which is impressive. Um, you know, I'm sure that they're responding to the time now, and, and I don't know if, I'm actually not sure if it was a, an American team or a foreign team, foreign to us, not foreign to them, um, who made this, but, you know, I mean, debt is a huge thing. It, whether their intention was to speak to American audiences or not, you know, debt is a huge thing for people in America, student debt, everything like that. Um, and to make a game where uh, your character has to overcome that can be a real catharsis for people. Or seen in incredibly bad taste, who knows, you know? People have different opinions. But I think, I think that it could be a catharsis for people, especially since you create a character that can overcome things possibly easier than you know or most you know, definitively easier than we could in our real lives is there something um, you need and there might be a comfort in that i have an extra bedroll i wonder if i could disassemble it um i don't know if there's a deconstruction element to this no i don't want to do that Let's see if anyone will buy it off me though Let's see if this would So I gotta do something about my health because it is dropping, and that red line here, else right here, that shows that my max health is dropping. What can I do? Maybe I could for sell you? him that. All right. Yes, I can. I don't want that. I don't want that. 
Can't sell them the bedroll, but is there anything else? I have eight of these. Protect from the cold, I could use that. Alright, cool. So I got 30, that's cool. That's good. And so I eventually want to buy these. And maybe I'll go stash some. I'm going to go stash some things. But I want to figure out how to... Oh, great. So the recipe has been learned, so I literally just have to click on that stuff. So that's good to know. I'm going to go deeper into that cave over there, because I want to see what else I can get. But first, I'm going to stash things off. <clears throat> in my house that is still mine for the time being. One thing I am very bad at in these games is getting rid of things. I'm a little bit of a hoarder, both in life and in the game. Uh, strangely, I think in the games I put a little more stake in. <laughs> so I can drop some of these torches, I feel like. It's not much weight, but it's not nothing. Common mushroom. Wood, I can come back for. So I just want to... I'm All I'm planning is to move into this cave and then I'll come back here before I decide to go back into the world. So I think I'm going to need to buy a cooking pot. Um, right, so hopefully that'll be enough space. I do want to pick up... If I can fight a few more of those things and come out on top, I could um, love to get another one of their tridents. So that because that's sold for a pretty good price, I'm trying to get coin. It's amazing how these games make it sometimes, you know, when it's <clears throat> it's fairly dense like this in this town. Um, they make it so that you can spend a lot of time in one place. I also I was looking up uh, just so how to move forward, um, and there's a <coughs> NPC I need to talk to about getting a mushroom so I can make a do a tribal favor, which will get me out of paying the full 250 silver because I think that that'll be kind of a daunting thing to get. Keeps telling me I need bandages, stressing me out. Wondering if I'm going to play any uh, stealth games on here because they legitimately stress me out. That is like the one game that I don't find comforting. Even like I'll play Dark Souls all day to all that, but stealth games actually. <laughs> okay, so I could pick that up. I left that. I'll go back and forth and back and forth. But if I do do that, I'll cut some of it out. All right, so now I have this pickaxe, which is great. I got a bunch of iron scrap. Let's see how overweight my bag is. I think I have a few more pounds before I can't move. It's also good to know that things will stay there. I didn't know that. So that's sweet. Okay, good. So that's not a branching path. Comforts me. I don't want to get too deep in if I have to just come back and drop stuff. Bags overweight, this, so that means if, if I get into a battle uh, or any combat, I'll drop it and then pick it up after. Hopefully I'll survive. Hopefully I'm close enough to my house that it won't be an issue. Ooh, okay. What's going on here? Get right back to the village. Oh, I see. Because I can't jump, so I can't get back up. Alright, so I'm not going to do that right now. I, I feel ill-equipped. But I'm pretty sure I got everything out of here that I could. So that's good. I'll get a few more silver. See, I gotta see if I can buy a cooking pot. I wonder if the architecture of this makes sense going down. I'm gonna turn around when I get out. I think we're in a mountain, so that checks out.
I know online a lot of people were saying that this is giving them kind of like Morrowind vibes. Um, I've never played that. I've played some of Skyrim, although I haven't played nearly as much of it as I'm sure I should. Um, which may make you think that I am not qualified to talk about anything. I've played much more uh, Fallout. I'm more of a Fallout fan than an Elder Scrolls fan. Um, although I've been thinking about modding Skyrim. Because modding to me is like its own little video game. Let me go talk to this NPC. Let's see if I can find her. I want to talk to that guy on the beach. I think that he gives us directions to some treasure. So I want to kind of check that out as well. Oh, I'm not drinking salt water. That's so... F what freedom that it gives you that option to just drink something that will, I mean, I'm sure kill you. I wish I could greet you with a smile. Yesterday, I was leading our most ambitious expedition in a decade. Now, all that's left is this wreck and a tribe in mourning. The lighthouse wasn't lit at the time we made impact with the rocks. Certainly, we lost everyone who was below the deck at the time of the accident. Unfortunately, yes. What little we could salvage from the wreck has gone to the families of my drowned men. I'm gonna say something a little selfish. How much? <laughs> That's right. You haven't been able to make payments on your blood price while we were gone. The blood price on your head is disgusting. You weren't even born when that tragedy happened. Don't have a of choice. course you do. Just because a choice oh, is didn't hard that answer. doesn't mean you can't take it. I'm sorry I don't have better news. Best of luck with squaring things with Risa. Actually, I do have there a we go. stash right. of goods. I was afraid I wasn't going to queue it. I'm going to Old shipwreck to the south. Okay, that's. Remember, you're not just a. I don't know if there's any journal to the. Okay, so. So, that's pretty much it. Okay. So it's just something I kind of have to remember. Fair. Do I have to fight him if I want this? Let's see with that. 15, 15, 12, 12. Alright, so I can... Might be good to have a backup weapon. Two pounds, though. Hmm. No, I'm gonna sell it for now. Let me check this out. Yeah, I'm gonna sell it for the time being. Just because I'm... <clears throat> I'll hopefully have some time in the future to kind of... Build more supplies. What can I do for you? All right. All right. So I need that. Sell this. Sell this. Man, I need a backpack bad. From that transaction, I wonder should I invest in a shield this early? I think it might be an idea. 50, I don't even have 50. Alright, let me go talk to some other people, see if I could sell them anything else. Hey there! Oh. So I should eat that. So let me see if I could buy any crafting recipes. <clears throat> Is there Literally, so I could get a backpack. Oh, I do need bandages. Boots.
<laughs> so, linen cloth is one. I think I need two linen cloths. Three, one. Mm. Pants are just three. Buy five of them. Pay fifteen. That seems fine. I'm going to eat one of those mushrooms. I don't know if I need to cook it. Let's see. Oh, when they said a bit, they were not kidding. Okay. So let me find this NPC that I need to talk to. I think she's upstairs somewhere. Sorry, bear with me. Oh, there's a whole side of the village I didn't see. Ah, I believe that's her. So let's go talk to her. Oh, what did I miss? Pitchfork. I'm not above stealing little games. If it's not red, it's not stealing. Greetings, friend. Lend me your ear. What unusual. I'm always interested in curiosities. What have you got? Hear about work. Let me your ear. As a matter of fact, I could use a brush explorer for something. Yeah, I'll put my life in danger. Is what I need. The shape of a shield, blister, burrow, northeast. Okay, so that's You'll where we're know going. You'll it if you find it. Great. Perfect. Make sure you have a good weapon, a lantern, and plenty of supplies. Right. Lend me your ear. Then follow the road to the left to another fork at the wooden gate. Turn left again. Okay. Okay. So let's just look at the... Oh, I can't even look at the world map. Okay. I might want to sleep until it's time to go. I still don't know how I'm going to get a cooking pot. I do need to fill my my water skin. <clears throat> so I'll use the remaining daylight to kind of stock up. Get some water and stuff. no idea if I'm like anywhere close to prepared enough to go and take on a dungeon but I heard that this is like a smaller one so I'm gonna hope for the best any houses I can go into see if I can get some supplies to sell I don't even know if I can go in the houses honestly no doors to open but I will check out that big one up on the hill no jump button. I've been playing a lot of Sekiro and the no jump button is throwing me off because I'm used to <laughs> FromSoft games not allowing me to jump and now that I can in that game, oh the freedom. Oh the freedom. I suppose I could jump in real life, but <sighs> who has the energy? What is it? Oh, she doesn't like me. The at customers all. have been talking. Oh, jeez. Watch out for be further out in the chairs. I don't know where that is. Perhaps people will forgive me if I can find them.
looks like nothing. Okay. So let's head back, get some sleep, and then we'll... we'll... Gonna go adventuring. Do I have my lantern on me? Yeah, I do. If I have my lantern, I guess I could drop the torches. Although I'm gonna test out to see if I can... Use the lantern and fight at the same time? Okay, I can, so. Good to know. All good information to have. This town is much bigger than I thought. <clears throat> get some berries. Always gonna get the berries. If I can. Great. I'm getting more used to the mouse and keyboard controls on this. I think I'm gonna stick with these. I think the cursor is very useful. Okay, is overweight, fine. I think I need to get over the fa the idea of the bag being overweight because I think it's always going to be overweight, and I can put it down when I need to fight. That's a dungeon. Don't want to go there. Taking everything. I can't move. Shit. What can I drop? Stamina cost minus ten. That's, oof, that's like much less. I'm gonna stash that. I wanna sell this. I could hoof back and forth, but I'm not sure that's really. Drop that. I should be able to at least move now. Sell that axe. <clears throat> I keep saying, and then I'm gonna go back. But man, I keep getting distracted. I don't know at what point. I have a feeling if you look over here that if I go below any of these that that becomes permanent. So I think if I go below this halfway mark, I get a hit on my maximum stamina. So I have to keep an eye on that. So let's go to this blacksmith. Let's see if I can sell that axe to him. I like the music. I find this whole thing very whimsical. Even when there's giant bugs trying to beat me to death. What can I and do? In the real for world, you? Right. the sound of a New York City train. 26. That is tempting. I think I'm gonna get a shield. Might be irresponsible for me to spend the money, but. I think it'll be useful. And now I need to walk very slowly back. Let's just see if there's anything I can sell here. Is there something you need? This gentleman? No, I need to keep that. Alright. <clears throat> so I need to be really... How many bandages do I have? Seven. 
I need to be really careful about what I bring with me. If I can make it back. I cannot wait until I get a backpack. This is how slow I'd be walking. Don't worry, I'm going to cut this out. Welcome back. I'm now in my kitchen. I'm going to make some things. As I understand, these berries go bad very quickly unless they're cooked, so I'm just going to use them all. Okay. Sweet tree. Don't have it. Don't have it. Don't have it. I'll put those in. It's food. Let's see if my lantern. My lantern's doing okay, so maybe I can. I just don't want to like, be caught where I can. Well, that's not even like. I need my bedroll. I'm gonna move that over. So that gets me below. Oh, and I can stash that. So that's okay, great. Just let me sleep. Figure that whole thing out. Because that's it's, its own thing. So I don't need to guard at all. I don't have to worry about that. Alright, so let's do that. And then we're headed off to something burrow, which is to the northeast. Making a left and then another left. That's what I know. Great. Healed up. Got some of my health back. Feeling good. Ready to seize the day. I think I have three more days now to pay back my debt. <clears throat> Going to assign. I forget to that point. Actually, let me equip my shield. Unfortunately, apparently, when you get a backpack, you could attach your lantern to it. Man, I I love inventory management, and this game has it in spades. I've been playing now for almost a half hour. I haven't thought that much about how I'm gonna die someday. Oh, voice crack. I'm not crying. I swear. Nobody, you don't have to feel worried about this. Anyway, I haven't thought about that very much. So, you know, maybe I'll start rating things that way. It's like the lower it is, the better the game is. <clears throat> so this is a one, one per hour. A one thought of death per hour. Mass Effect got a zero, which is good. It's the official scale of coping mechanics. How many times did you think about how you're going to die someday? I'll stop saying it. You guys came here for a nice time. That goose again. I don't want to, but I will. I already put the time in. Okay, I feel bad about this that I'm chasing him, but... Alright, alright. I'll let it go. Always gotta gather the berries. Let me make sure I'm on the road now. I didn't get lost, so I'm making a left. That's the bandit camp. That's the ancient ruins. I have a feeling it's going to be up here. I said, make a go left at the fork. Sorry, I know this is backtracking, but I just want to make sure that I didn't miss a fork. I got a... The... Alright, so this is the first fork in the road. 
the <clears throat> map doesn't tell you where you are on it. Which is an interesting design choice. I respect their commitment to, to their concept. Though I don't necessarily agree with it. But you know what? They wanted something. and They, they wanted their survival RPG. And that's what I'm playing. So the first fork in the road. And then I make a left. They said at the sign. Which is right there. I don't want to get kidnapped by bandits. And if I can't find it, I will... Really. This slope... This last slope is too much. If I can't find it, I'll skip around. But you want to get a look at the world? Something's going on over here. Let's check it out. I do think this the world they created is a really nice mix of kind of like realistic and whimsical. Um, not an easy feat. What is this? Tripwire. Great. I don't have a bow yet. But that was a that was a good find. Glad I came up here. Another goose. Is it the same goose? Are we gonna do this again? Norman? That's what I'm naming the goose. Every t every incarnation of the goose shall be named Norman. And we are nemeses, but we respect each other. Oh, there's two Normans. Oh god, two Normans. Right, so that's the way to the bandit camp. I don't want to do that. This looks like it's leading to something, so I shall follow this road. Perhaps at the end of this, there shall be a bride or groom waiting for me. Along with all my family and friends. I, that would be a true surprise. I hope these are not things that are going to come alive. No. Oh, but these are the heads that she was talking about. Oh, great. Fucking A, we found it. Oh, this is cool. This this is a cinematic shot. I went to film school. Got to use it somehow. It's like when they enter Maz Kanata's castle, Blisterboro. There we go. Speaking of Maz Kanata's castle, uh, seamless segue. I uh, if you're interested in Star Wars, there might be some overlap. Um, I am also I also do a podcast called the Droids You're Looking For Star Wars Podcast, and we do some KOTOR streams, which are also available. I made a playlist on the uh, YouTube channel. Sorry, I got distracted. Great. I'm taking the needle tea. Future planners on what? Mm, that's going to be too heavy, so. I have a feeling I'm going to have to fight something, but I'm hoping I don't meet too much resistance. I feel a little underpowered. One kind of mushroom. Alright, it's one of these guys. Put my backpack down. Got some mushrooms, great. Pick my bag up. That's a cool mechanic that you could take your bag off to fight so you don't always have to worry about it tiny aquamarine is required hmm. perhaps should have started this a little more systematically but we're going down hopefully I'll remember things on my way back Serious. Hold on. Oh, mana stone. Bag is overweight. No shit. Great. How overweight is my bag? I can still move, so I shall not worry about it too much. Guess I should search more, see if I can mine anything. Just a curiosity. Oh, 
dark where we go. There's no uh, saving in this game. It's only auto save, so you can't kind of like save scum your way through it. Um, which again, I respect their commitment to their concept, even if it makes my life a little harder. Go down here. All right, there's one bad guy. Hopefully, only one. And that looks pretty serious. Here, it's light in there, so I'm gonna equip my shield. And he's glowing, so I'm gonna put my bag down and fight him. Describe the combat as floaty. You know, it's like. Do I need a bandage? Um. It's like a, you know, kind of like a primitive Dark Souls. I don't even mean that. Like, I'm not saying that derogatorily. Giant heart garnet. Put my lantern again. Let's see if there's anything back here. Let me use a bandage. My hope is that after this, hopefully that will be my tribal favor, and then I'll also get some things worth some silver so I can start really getting on my feet. Let's go up, and then I do. I have to. I have a feeling that big room is kind of where it's going to be happening. Use another bandage, since I might be entering combat. And I'm not going to be afraid to run if I have to. Nothing to take there. helpful that, I mean, I don't know yet, but it's helpful that a lot of the enemies are kind of luminescent, so I can see them from afar, but I am proceeding with caution. There's two of them there. Go wait. off guard where there's like one behind me and I don't know. Alright. So let me equip my shield. Oh shit. Made it through. Some coin. Okay, let me. Where's my bag? No, I can't see. Alright, cool. Definitely need to use a bandage or two. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna use two, because I'm getting pretty beat up here. Gotta find out if there's a quick way to like change targets. Need to look that up. Okay. I don't have mana yet. But 
I shall need it eventually. Looks like people were worshipping this mushroom. It's interesting. That's some interesting world building. Some lore. It's a very uh, bloodborne y kind of thing to do. <clears throat> Actually, gonna use another bandage just because I'm getting pretty deep in and I don't wanna be caught off guard. Did I come back full circle? Okay. It, did I? Yes. This is where I came in. I don't think I've gone this way yet. Sorry if you're watching me go in circles, but no. I did. Alright, so that's the entrance. Okay, good. So I can retrace my steps here. <coughs> Excuse me. Great. So I think I need to enter that big room that I did not enter. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got a baddie. use puncture. Interesting. Okay. Tiger's overweight. I'm very aware. I have a feeling that in there might be what I'm looking for. Mushroom shield. Boom. to search around this room a little more and then I am out of here because I want to make sure that I get out of here alive. Gonna drop. Oh, I can transfer things to my pocket. Useful. I should definitely move to my pocket. Oh, that's great. Said it was clean. I'm choosing to trust it. So now that I can run, just go upstairs, see what's up, and then we're heading back into town. don't want to deal with him. Well, he's, he wants to deal with me, and so this is what we're doing. Okay. Made quick work. guy looks strong don't want to mess want to get out of here safely like I said I can always come back when I have a little more equipment um, but I certainly don't want to get this deep in can I take one of these to sell yeah no too heavy I don't want to I have all this stuff I don't want to now risk it call me a coward that's fine Call me a coward. You can call me turned around, which I am. Oh, I have an idea. I'm going. I have a feeling I'm gonna get out, and it's gonna be nighttime.
this is that entrance room. Great. Should be able to make a right. And this should be the exit. Great. Cool. Dungeon so far successful. The thing that I really need to watch out for on the way back is uh, the two Normans and the bandits that may want to kidnap me. So, let me equip my shield because it's daytime. I'm glad to know that. Those two, those two Normans, though, they might mean to fuck me up, and I don't want to get fucked up by the Normans. The Normans mean business. Not sure he wants that. I don't think the Normans want to mess with me. There's mutual respect between the Normans and I, and uh, they recognize that I do. It's a shaky truce, but. So my first order of business is I'm going to go back and I'm going to sell off some stuff if I even have as much stuff to sell off. Like, I feel like a heart of an ash giant. Ash giant. I might not actually sell that. Really sell anything. Because I ended up having to drop most of the items. But I am going to go to that NPC. And give her my findings. I'm taking the long route because I don't want to run into those bandits at the fork. I've already been kidnapped by the bandits and I have no interest. Not again. So once I do, once I complete this, uh, that's going to be the end of this episode. I feel like we got a lot done here. Thanks for joining. You know what? I feel good. We talked about some serious stuff at the beginning and then we got straight into what what Ashen is up to in this world of Sierso. I'm having fun. I like this game a lot. The real fun will be, do I remember how to get to her quickly? And can I do it confidently? And I think I can... I'm in my 30s now. My brain is not what it used to be. I used to be able to memorize the game map in one playthrough. It could take years. Greetings, uh. friend. Lend me your ear. I'm always interested in curiosities. Right, let's see what, what she says oh, about oh, An interesting piece. Great. Deal. Excellent. Lend me your ear. I'm always interested in curiosities. Now what do I do? What have you got? Lend me your ear. Okay, You've we earned this. I'll see you. Great. So what did she just give me? the mushroom shield great completed Helen's focus that's funny so what am I dealing with in terms of silver now 115 I am close I might I might just sell stuff off at this point get rid of some mana stuff just because I don't need it. Is there something you need? Let's see what's worth stuff. Price that generally means that it can't be used for other stuff. So now I'm going to the town. I think it's to the lady in the big house and paying her, and then hopefully I will be free of this. That's my hope here. No, that wasn't it. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Up here. 
And hopefully I can keep the house. I'm really hoping that, like, there's no, like, turnaround on this. I want to feel the relief. Greetings. How go your efforts? You have a way to make that payment. And on time, too. I'm impressed. I'll see that this money gets to the family. Oliel and Izan are leaving Cierzo. Oliel is leaving to go join the holy mission of Elat. As will we all. A blood price has been declared upon his bloodline. This is troubling. Man, well this place then. has some problems. All right, this so. This is unacceptable. This is the way things have to be. Come back once you've said your goodbyes to them. All right. So, um, that will be the end of this episode. I'm going to continue with these. Uh, as always, new episodes on Wednesday and Sunday. We're doing this and Mass Effect, oscillating between the two. And then we're going to be introducing some new games. Um, thank you for joining today with Outward. As always, please subscribe, like, tell your friends on uh, YouTube. And, uh, and follow us, Coping Mech Games at on twitter sorry uh that's at coping mech games and uh until next time this was coping mechanics hey this is